The country is still in shock and mourning the passing away of DJ Somebody, a popular South African DJ who was gone down some few days ago and was laid to rest just a few days ago. There are a lot of questions circulating on social media like, who has been arrested for his mother? Who was responsible for taking the life of this popular DJ? Guys, before we get into all that, before we get to know who has been arrested and the latest development on the case of DJ Somebody. I want to welcome you again to this channel. If you're dropping by for the first time, feel free. This is your platform. Don't forget to support me by subscribing. Watch this video to the very end. Yes, there are a lot of people who have spoken out on the case of DJ Somebody. EFF leader Julius Malema called out the police minister Becky Seller to quickly find a person of interest in the killing of DJ Somebody. There are a lot of people who have cried out on the death of this DJ. Many other celebrities and other lives have been taken in a similar manner. It seems the justice system of this country is so weak and can no longer protect its people. Malema was addressing the mourners at the morning ground where the DJ was to be laid to rest on Saturday 26 November. Heartbroken and shattered as he was like the other mourners, he went on to ask the government of that area if they had not called for a 72-hour police active plan. When you arrest the killer of DJ Somebody, you will inspire confidence. Without the arrest, we will never find closure. We are not happy because we need a person of interest. Julius Malima went on to say the police needed to go through the late DJ Somebody's phone as someone who had made him threat against him before his death would have been found in his phone. If the police are struggling to solve this high profile case, what about a common person? Malima also called on the Minister of Police to attend the state of shooting in the neighborhood. Up to date, no one has been arrested or nothing has been said about the passing away or the assassination of this DJ. This simply tells us that we are no longer safe in this country. People of Pretoria don't respect black lives. To them, a black doesn't matter. Now they have killed somebody without considering it someone's child. They shot 46 bullets, making sure he wouldn't survive. During the funeral, some shocking information was also revealed. Mona's heard that there were three attempts to his life. His friends confirmed this, saying that the DJ had been wanted ever since. Till this very moment, the police haven't given us any further information about this case. We are really scared. What is becoming of this country? What is becoming of a security system? Guys, thank you for watching this video to the very end. Do drop your comments below in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so. See you in the next video.